Greetings BIW shipbuilders. I'm speaking with you today following a recent visit to Bath. During that visit I spent time talking about how to best get after our shared goal of delivering cutting-edge warships ready to operate on schedule. I had the opportunity to meet with many of you on my walk around the shipyard. I left with a renewed appreciation of your skills, your dedication, and the pride you have in what you do in support of our Navy and our nation. For those of you I was not able to meet while in Bath, I hope this message conveys to you the importance of the work you do. You are not building TVs or truck trailers. You are building warships that operate around the world and may one day be called to go into harm's way with your brothers, sisters, sons, or daughters on board. I know it is not lost on you. These ships must be built to exacting standards and we are counting on you to do so. We live in a world where our peer competitors, to be specific, Russia and China, look to displace us on the global stage and ultimately change our way of life. While this used to be something that only a few had visibility to, events unfolding in places like Ukraine and the South China Sea have provided visibility of what we're up against around the world. Our advantage in this great power competition in large part is you, your commitment, your dedication, and ultimately the ships you build provide our sailors with the world's most capable systems. I want to personally extend my thanks on behalf of those sailors and our Navy's leadership as you spend yourself in the worthy cause of shipbuilding. Know that you are a significant part of delivering the most capable warships on the planet, the mighty DVG-51 class. How cool is that? Thank you again for making my visit memorable and for all you do in service to our Navy. Thank you.